Hello everybody, welcome to Mega Trucker Maniacs Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. If you guys remember, in the previous episode, I told you I was going to find the golden bugs in this area. Now, if I remember correctly... This is if I remember correctly, so... Be warned, I played this game and completed it a quite a while ago. One of the bugs I remember is in the... I think both of the bugs here are in the graveyard. Now, one of them you might not have access to currently at the moment. Oh, yeah. See the little shining? That means there's a bug there. Now, that there are some bugs, so you won't be able to get them until the game progresses. Now, they're kind... The game's kind of annoying when it does that. Now, I'm just going to show you where the bug is in here, and then, you know what, I'm thinking about having a bonus video and having uh, the videos that I make have the bugs automatically. You know what? Yeah, stop doing that. There we go. This might be over extreme, but whatever. Come on, find it. It wasn't me. Oh, yeah, I kind of exploded. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Yay, purple ruby. As I said before, there are places where... Okay, let's see... So I know it's like around a tree or an object or something, because these are bugs based on real bugs. Oh dear. Yeah. Now, if you fight all the birds currently here. Yeah. Now, there's one bug here. You know what? I'm gonna get it. It should be. Oh! It's a male ant. And male ants, apparently, do have wings. I thought it was different, but okay. Thought, like, the queen ant had wings. But. It's the male ants. Most ma ants are actually female. So, as we go on, I will give info on the golden bugs. Now, both ants are found in the graveyard, but I believe the female ant we can't access right now. We will have access to it later. If you listen intently, I don't think there are any more sparkles. Let's see, I'm just gonna go through really quick to see if there are any more sparkles. I would recommend not rolling because the rolling. Those of you who know this symbol. Uh huh. Uh huh. This place isn't just home to Din. So I'm trying to refrain from rolling so I can listen intently to find the other ant. And since the ant isn't in the graveyard, I don't... I'm not sure if it's in that back area where the stone is, but I would kind of recommend just quickly going through town and listening. Mainly, the key to f catching these golden bugs is listening. Just listening very closely and very hard. That's... The easiest way I can think of of finding the bugs, I I don't think the bugs, the golden bugs, are in populated areas. I think they're like in little side areas. Oh. Oh yeah, there's Davis right up there. Yeah, I can't get Davis right now. 
I, I don't know. Have I ever? Yeah, I think I've gotten Davis down once, but I don't. Okay, so he said, cross the Great Plains. So we're going to go oh, to the northern exit, because he also said the Great Bridge. Now, the Great Bridge is where we fought the troll, the Nordic troll. Go, horsey, go! Oh, yeah. I'm boss. I'm boss. Now, let's see. How can I explain this? I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually make the bonus video where I find all the bikes or if I'm just gonna find them on the way. I'm thinking of doing it on the way because as I said before, the bonus video of finding all the golden bikes have probably already been made by a whole ton of people. If not, I guess I'll make it. And then, oh yay mail! Give me my mail, Mr. Mailman! Two layers. Oh yeah, every time you leave a dungeon after you have a cuckoo and you've already defeated the boss, I think once you get to the boss room, then a cuckoo leaves. Like, if you, the boss defeats you, it'll be like if you never went in the boss room. Sorry, I'm thinking, um, what was I? Ah, yeah. Yay, this one. Let's go read those letters, shall we? Did we? Did I read all the other? No, they look closed. If I have a letter, for, if I have a letter for you, I'll approach you at high speed. Two these do not flee. Oh, I was so happy to have met you the other day. I really had fun, and I was also happy to see my friend's son's face again. So happy. I'd like to let you know we can be we will be heading to another location soon. If you continue on your travels, chances are we'll meet again. My son and I are certainly looking forward to seeing you again. Take care of yourself, a cuckoo or the chicken lady. New sunrise of the tropical cuckoo. Urgent bomb arrows. Yeah, we already know about that stuff. The last two stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know how I can miss from point blank distance, but some people can find a way to miss lots of targets. Now let's see. Since I'm on Epona, those bugs I don't think can harm me while I'm even slowly moving, which is very helpful. Yeah. Oh yeah, there is a bug here that I kind of want to get so I don't have to get it later. It's a grasshopper, I think. There it is. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. Sword! Do you like my sword, sword, sword? My iron sword, sword? You cannot afford for for my iron sword, sword, because having swords, I think it's illegal in certain areas. You cannot have my awesome sword, sword, sword. Sorry. Minecraft song. I kind of like. Yeah! Trample, 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 trample! Die! Dang it! Where are you? There we go. Now you can just jump. 
Now you have to be very quick about getting this bug, because if you do not do it fast enough, or if you're really fast in approaching it, it will run away, and then it'll go to the place where those weird things show up. Grasshopper. Now the other grasshopper is somewhere on this field, if I can remember where. I only remember this one because this one was really annoying to get. I think I remember where. Now I believe there are two bugs near the bridge of Elden. I'm going to quickly move my fairy so I can find out where the other grasshopper is. One second. One second. Once I find the other grasshopper, I'll show it to you. Okay, I switched for a while until in the game it turned to night, which I really wanted people to hear the music of the nighttime in Hyrule, because I think it sounds really, really pretty. And it's very, very nice sounding. And if you guys notice, I have zero arrows. And I think I went around in circles for nothing. Now I'm going to slowly approach this grasshopper. Let me see if this works. I was thinking I could blow air at it. Now. Sorry. There are times when you need. Oh! Okay, I didn't get the grasshopper. I got a phasmid. See, I said there's different kind of bug on the bridge of Alden. I was right. And I can't seem to find the female grasshopper. I think she might. Hmm. I'll have to look it up for uh, where all the bugs are. But I'll have to do that at another time in another episode. I really want to look again. Re- You know what? While I'm having everybody look at the music, I'll try and see if there's like a corner of the field I missed. I don't see any little lights flashing. Oh, this is where I just came from, right? This is not where I want to go. Sorry, see that little blue arrow right there? That's uh, some place I explored, but then I thought, I don't want to explore over here because I know the grasshopper isn't over here. Now, there might be a chance that it's on the other side of this gray cloak thingy. I really doubt it, because most likely there's a cliff in between. And there apparently isn't. But I'm just going to scan the perimeter of this... I think I found it, I think I found it. FOUND IT! Sorry, Pana. Come on, dash it in, dash it in, yeah. They're coming to save you, female grasshopper, I think. Oh man, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, I still got it, even with that thing chasing me. Now I have to hurry up to my horse and hope I can get on before getting hurt. Good girl. Now that I found the phasmid and stuff, I need to go to Elden Bridge. And I showed you guys where the grasshopper was. Yay! So, if you guys don't know, the grasshopper was over in that corner. Like, over there in the dirt patch. Just like the other one was near uh, entrance to the Elden province from Hyrule Field to the Elden Province. There, uh, near the entrance, there was a dirt patch, and there was a grasshopper. 
Now, for the other phasmid, I think it looks more like a walking stick to me, or, um, what do you call them? Yeah, I think it's a walking stick. Now, you see those little glowing in the distance? Yeah, that's the other phasmid. Little glowing in the distance, like, on this wall. I'm gonna see if I can get it with the wind thing. It appears I need to be a little closer. Did I get it? I got it. Sorry, Pana. I really needed to get the bug to for video purposes. Oh, great. Eh, I got bombs. I'm good. There are other points in which you can enter the Twilight Realm, but I would recommend this path. It takes you close to your goal, I think. Because if you do it the other way, it can get a little painful. Oh, fudge. Opponent. No. Okay, we're stuck. And there goes the bridge. For those of you who've played Super Smash for this brawl and played in the Legend of Zelda, bridge, the Bridge of Elden, you guys know this bridge disappears quite a lot. <laughs> and for some reason, the dark beings are attached to the Bridge of Elden. Now, this is the Elden part of Hyrule Field. It's basically divided into four parts, I think? Maybe three? I'll get back to you guys on that. Um, once I have the complete map, I'll show you guys all the fields. Now, normally, the Elden Field is probably the most commonly used field. And the biggest. There's one of the fields which I don't think people really use much. In fact, I ri I rarely knew it, ex it existed. I think there are like three high parts of the Hyrule field. One for Alden, one that was near or Odin, and then um, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, I don't know the exact names for all the fields, but there's just one of them. Where I didn't even know it existed till I found I went to it and I was like, oh, there are bugs here. Okay, so I'll go get them. So, oh well. And now that that red thing is there, the red shadows come. And since red shadows are there, you can fight them in your human form, but most likely, without the bow and arrow. It would be quite difficult, because I'm out of arrows. Let's talk to you, Minda. Should we just ignore those guys? So, I guess we'll have, I guess we will have to fight them using a Pona. Can we? Will it shriek? Ah! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. What I would do is I would drag them out here and fight them, but since I do not have my bow and arrow, and currently I'm. Okay, they're following me anyway. Oh well. Run, 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 run. Toward the one. Oh, opponent. Nice save. Did I, did I get rid of one of them? Nope. Did I get him? Dang it. Ah. 
Okay. That's it. Ah, dear fudge. I hate it. I hate it when they do that. No! Okay, spin attack, spin attack all the way. Spin attack. No, no, no. Don't attack just one. Don't attack just one. No, no, yes, no, 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 no! Okay, this is getting really stressful. I'm spinning the no jack! I did it, I did it, I did it! Nubchuck Norris, thank you! Nubchuck Norris, thank you! Ah, I feel a great relief. Sorry, I was in panic mode there. I don't like fighting those things in my human form. You can, if you're dumb enough, you can, like myself. But then again, I had a plan where I threw bombs at them. So, and that failed, so if I, I if I had been more conservative with my arrows, uh, I probably would have defeated them like no problem. Yeah, don't hit my horse. You may have a mallet, but I have a horse, and my horse pretty much has like no health. It has infinite health. It cannot die. It's invincible. Speaking of things that are invincible, did you guys know eh, that Funky in Just Dance is pretty much um, Just Dance 4, our Just Dance team? Like, we had just had a random team of people, but our team was pretty much invincible. And we won, like, every thing they threw at us, which was very good, even though I kind of wasn't feeling super 100% that day, I got to avoid having to run a lap, or run a, run around, because uh, the thing about uh, what our gym, or what our PE does when we play Just Dance 4, instead of doing, like, running around gyms, and actually we do that anyway. Okay, for like my school, we had a Just Dance thing where you go and play Just Dance instead of doing exercises and stuff, and you can be awesome and play Just Dance. Now, what, okay, something really cool you can do right here is that you can go through here, I think, yeah, and you can be like awesome and jump. That's just awesome. Now, um... Before I forget, the portals, the portal is currently over the bridge, like right here. So if you go through, right now it's broken in half, so if you go through that portal, if you warp through that portal, you will fall to your doom. Midna will warn you whether or not you do it is your choice. So... If you guys are cool with, like, instant death, go jump off of Elden. Now, if you bomb that cave right there, it won't work. You need a special help to get to that cave that I just passed. Yeah. Did I pass... A bug or two. Okay. I'm gonna listen very closely right now. Okay, I don't hear any bugs. They have like a little sparkly sound. You can hear them. And usually you can see them glow. See that little mountain or little chunk of rocks I passed? Now, I'm gonna leave a pony here. Later I can call her with grass and stuff. Right now, I'm going to the Twilight thing, so I kind of don't want to bug him. Bug her. I like Epona. Ah, we're finally here. 
There's only one fused shadow left. So this is the last of the twilight you'll see, I guess. If you guys know, that would be way too easy. So, there's probably going, going to be a lot more going on than what Minda is currently thinking. Since I've already completed the game, I'll leave it up to your guys' imagination if that's really the last thing we have to do. For those of you who are watching my Let's Play. Oh dear. I just remembered something that comes up. <laughs> I thought I liked puzzles and riddles. Whether or not you accomplish your final task and survive is up to you. Oh, what? You have to help me? Hehehe, <laughs> so what will you do? Minda has to help us, so whether she likes it or not, it's also her fault if we die. And there's a pony in the background, glowing. <laughs> Want me to let you in Twilight? Sure, I can't use my bow and arrow right now, anyway. I'm so glad I just got over with the meh, the other shadows. Now that we are in here, we stay human for a while instead of turning into spirit, then we turn into a wolf. Alright then, I guess I'll have to help you. What a shame this is. This is the last of Twilight. I had to become... And I had... Ah, I had become so fond of seeing it covering this world. No, you didn't. Or is it... Or is it really the last you'll see? <laughs> no, this isn't... I, I can tell you guys now. Just by that hint she gave us, this is probably isn't going to be the last we'll see of it. Now, Minda is very useful in Twilight. She will be even more useful later in the game, for in the light world of light and the world of Twilight. The world of Twilight, she pretty much has like all the abilities she can get. For the world of light, she can be a whole lot more helpful. As you guys saw, you can't warp anywhere in the world of light, but you can talk to Minda. And that's pretty much all you can do in the world of light. But in Twilight, you can ask her to warp you out of Twilight. You'll stay a wolf, but you'll warp. And warping is very, very fun and very, very helpful. Now you can warp to Elden and you can creep everybody out by being a wolf, which is very, very fun. Now I'm just going to ignore... Th oh, scent. It's a bag. I wonder if we're going to take it. Now, once you learn a new scent, you forget an old one. But Coco, can you at least promise me this? Some of the little scent things have text. I think it's only Elilah's. The other one, it viewed all the kids. Forget the youth scent? Smell and learn this new smell? You smell the girl, don't you? You can, I can tell by the look on your face. I don't, I can't tell that. He just looks like, Minda, can you help me? Actually, yeah, that kind of has, that, it does have that kind of look on her, his face. Well, good, it's another clue then. But this scent won't, uh, could be quite old. I wonder if she's still uh, all right. Hee hee hee. Don't, don't ruin my hopes. I'm just going to ignore all these things because they're pretty much useless. This game doesn't run on EXP or experience. Run, dude. Oh, okay. It's a cutscene. Does that look familiar to anyone? Haven't we seen this castle before? <laughs> Thank you, Minda. So we finally made it back here. Well, only a little farther, so hang on. Oh. Or so I'd like to say, but it's going to be a lot harder from here on out. <laughs> Alright, then let's get started. She is not joking. It's pretty harder. Like, before there was only those flying things. Now there are going to be multiple enemies, like birds and such. 
yeah, here it's going to be a lot harder than it was before. Can I whistle to those uh, things in Twilight? Sorry, I'm kind of thinking to myself here if I can whistle through the whistle holes in Twilight. If I can, that would be good. I'm going to see if I can. I think there's one around here where I'm going. What's up here? I'm curious. And it's a guarded path. Ah, I don't want to deal with you. Go, 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 little puppy. Go, little puppy. Run, 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 run. I think there's a little fork in the path here. If I can get over here. I pretty much uh, abuse the dash and pretty much spam it here. Oh dear, um, it appears I've reached the end of my recording session for now. In the next episode, we will continue going through Twilight, and then that will be my last episode of the day, because I'm starting to get tired, and it's getting later. As I said, I can only record at night, and I do have stuff to do tomorrow, so I should probably get going to bed soon, because it's almost, I think it's one in the morning now. You guys now know how much devotion I am putting into this Let's Play. I'm staying up for you guys to record. You guys should feel proud of me. Or, I don't know. I, I want brownie. I was checking the time and then I saw them and then... Why? I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully I will not eat all my brownies so that my friends can have their brownies. I know I'm talking about brownies and I'm probably making people who are watching my videos hungry, but um, if I rewatch my videos, I hope... Okay, uh, if I rewatch my own videos, I will get super hungry because of the talk of food. Okay, I need to stop talking about food. Note to self, stop talking about food during Let's Plays. I have taken the note. I'm not sure if I will abide by it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully I will not talk about sweets or chocolate or candy or whatever. But since I will probably repeat myself and say I will try not to do blah 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 in the beginning of the next, in this episode. Oh well, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!